Well, in the wake of today's wintry precipitation, many communities picking up between one and three inches of snow. And then atop that, some freezing rain and sleet, especially along and southeast of the 84 quarter for the Hartford area. 1.8 inches today, two inches in Bridgeport. Despite that, still deficits uh, over seven inches for the Hartford area to date for the season and just over five and a half inches for Bridgeport. Specifically for the Hartford area, the liquid equivalent of that snow brings our total to for the month of January to 5.73 inches all in to date. We're just just over an inch and a quarter away from moving into the top five wettest Januarys on record and those date back to 1905. We certainly get a break in the action for tomorrow and as well for Thursday. There's the potential for a little light snow on Friday. More on that in just a moment. Right now, Rye can be from Hartford. 23 in our capital city. The cloud cover from earlier has moved out. 25 looking live from New London. Old Glory there moving in the wind. Sustained northwest at 14 miles an hour. Certainly to help uh, dry out the pavement there in southeast Connecticut and of course first Alert live radar, Connecticut's only live radar. It is scanning clear and dry and will likely do so uh, for the next day or two. There's a chance for a couple of flurries on Thursday. So temperatures here in the 11 o'clock hour, 20 statewide teens right now. Waterbury, Torrington and Salisbury. That northwesterly wind continues to push colder air in our direction, of course, also making the air that we have across the state feel even chillier. Wind chill values in the teens for many communities, but down to eight is what it feels like right now in Salisbury. 5 Torrington, 3 in Salisbury, uh, and 8 at Windsor Lock. So statewide will be waking up to wind chill values down into the single digits, perhaps even for some below zero. So there goes the wet and wintry precipitation from earlier. The cloud cover continuing to clear out. Looking at the big picture, we've got the departing area of low pressure, high pressure building in from the west. Between the two, breezy conditions for tomorrow, but a dry, brighter day. And the cold air that's been making headlines over the past several days through the central part of the country and that we've been highlighting that's moving in our direction is currently arriving. So while today was certainly chilly, our first day today for the Hartford area in over a year to have a high temperature below freezing, we're going to go even colder tomorrow and even more so over the upcoming week. And so first alert future cast throughout the day tomorrow showing a good amount of sunshine, perhaps some scattered late day clouds, but certainly dry weather. Highs tomorrow, uh, mid 20s inland, upper 20s along the 95 corridor. So uh, tomorrow afternoon, afternoon wind chill values still in the teens across Connecticut. As we check out the wider view here on Thursday, we'll start off with some sunshine, a little disturbance, heads in our direction, we'll see an increase in cloudiness, maybe a couple of flurries. But what we're going to be watching for Friday is a developing area of low pressure moving into the mid-Atlantic states and then tracking offshore. Looks to go far enough offshore from Connecticut that the impact will be fairly minor, looking for kind of a brushing. But our model's pretty consistent by looking at the, uh, say, Friday 6 p.m. time Time frame will be on the northwestern extent of that light snow as that system moves farther offshore. So uh, we've got that possibility for some flurries on Thursday. Better chance for some light snow Friday afternoon, Friday evening. Then morning clouds, Saturday give way to clearing. Sunday, uh, plenty of sunshine. The big story for the weekend will be not only the cold, but the wind. Uh, wind chill values quickly show you by Saturday morning, single digits near zero, if not below. We'll do it all over again Sunday morning, perhaps even to a a, a, a bigger extent with those wind chill values sub zero. And then by Monday, we're back in the mid 30s and back to 40, if not higher, by Tuesday of next week. All right, Mark, thank you.